Now this is the trailer that I've been looking for. Obviously you can tell that I look exactly the same and are wearing the exact same thing, plus uploading all these videos at the same time. I am like binge watching trailers at the moment. Uh, just thought I'd give you guys a little note as to why I've been a little bit slow recently uh, with uh, uploading reviews. My camera, which I usually use, has, uh, 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 I'm trying not to swear, um, pooped itself. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm going to get it repaired, obviously. But uh, also, you know, it's September. Usually not that much comes out, but I'm seeing Mother tomorrow. And I'm actually going to have to do it like just sitting here instead of doing my usual uh, green screen stuff. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm really, really sorry about being late with uh, the movie review for, for Mother, um, which I'm so excited for because of Darren Ar Aronofsky. I just love him so much. Anyway, um, uh, but anyway, The Disaster Artist. I love A24. If anyone, anyone who watches this, I urge you to pause it Go to your Facebook and start following A24. Not only are they just releasing such fantastic movies, but seriously, their social media is on point. Like, they've got um, so many, like, they just do little things, which, um, sorry, I just burped. Um, they just do so many little things, which, you know, like, they make memes out of their movies. And, you know, it's just, they are so in touch with the fan base and... Not to mention the fact that so many of my favorite films now are coming from the studio, especially I saw um, It Comes at Night recently, which, although that was a terribly marketed film, I have actually had to watch it twice because the first time I watched it, I was so disappointed with how, how, how poor the marketing was in terms of misleading us, um, which I did uh, touch upon for my War for the Planet of the Apes review, which you can check out on my channel. Um, but... I watched it again because I, I, it, the the way that I left the movie was obviously angry because I I was so disappointed with how how they uh, mismarketed it, but um, it just it just it it did something to me in terms of um, what a lot of the movie kind of had had to say. So I'm I'm urging everyone don't expect a a, a horror or a thriller. This is definitely a deep deep cut character study, but. You know, between that and Ex Machina, Under the Skin, I love Under the Skin. Um, plus, uh, for those people who really aren't that interested in it, you do see some of Scarlett Johansson's boobies. So that is a reason to watch the movie as well. Um, but yeah, I, I love A24 Entertainment, but I also love The Room. And one big thing that I, I urge everyone to do, other than seeing A24, I'm urging a lot today. Um, but let me know in the comments of your The Room experience, because my The Room experience, I heard that it was a bad movie, and I love bad movies, hence why I'm a huge Nicolas Cage fan, because he is just, ah, oh, he is so good, um, because he's so bad. Not bad, I mean, he's, I'll get into a Nicolas Cage thing uh, later on, but honestly, this movie is like, it's, it's, it's definitely a cult movie, but in itself, it's like an institution like, if you haven't seen The Room, go watch The Room, but make sure you have a few drinks first, because it's such a great time. Like, you sit there throughout the whole movie just going, like, how was this made? Are you being serious with actually making this? And the dialogue and the acting and, like, every five minutes there's this, like, gratuitous sex scene. It's... Like, anyway, my experience with The Room, I went to The Luna, which is this small uh, theatre. It's actually my favourite theatre in the world, not counting a few theatres that I went to in New York. But um, it's it's my favourite theatre in the room, in, 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 uh, well, in Australia. But, like, you, you rock up there and it's, like, a big fan event. And that that is how everyone should watch The Room, because if you have a group of people all carrying plastic spoons... And, you know, have a few drinks first. It's like this giant fan experience. It's, oh, I love it. Anyway, this movie, I am so looking forward to. I was so on board with that teaser trailer. Like, I, like, it would just be hilarious. Like, so funny if this movie was up for an Oscar. Because it's like a movie about a bad movie. 
that it's actually a good movie and then an Oscar winning movie. That would just be like, I feel sorry for Tommy. Well, I don't feel sorry for him, but anyway, uh, it would just be so, so delicious if he, <laughs> if he won an Oscar for it. But yeah, I'm so excited for this trailer. Sorry, I'm a few days late, but like, I, like, I love trailers and I love binge watching them. Um, plus I like to do a little bit of research, obviously, uh, because that's why I go on long spiels about, um, movies before. Anyway, sorry, I just realized it's like five and a half minutes that I've been rambling on, but yeah, anyway, I'll start the trailer now. Los Angeles, everybody wants to be star. You have to be the best. I'm never going to get up on stage in front of people. All I can think about is what if they laugh at me? You, man, you're fearless. No. I want to feel that too. I don't care. I'll do it. He's nailing that ball. has his strength. Yeah, I guess we do. And we'll be famous. We'll show them. Watch out, here we go. To be or not to be. It's not going to happen for you. Not in a million years. But after that. Oh, you chased those dreams, Tommy. They don't want me. Wish we could just make our own movie. A great idea. So there's this guy, Johnny, a true American hero, to be played by me. He has it all. Good luck. Make friends. And also, maybe Johnny is vampire. We'll see. I wish I had half the confidence that he has exactly himself. exactly like the real alleyway. That's right. Well, why don't we just shoot in the real alleyway? Because it's a real Hollywood movie. <laughs> okay, action. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. What the fuck? It doesn't work if you're looking at the camera. And this beautiful girl. And this thing for my princess. I'd love to see what it's like filming this. And then this guy, Johnny. He go crazy. Nobody respect my vision. You are a villain. I do this whole movie for you, Greg. You are tearing me apart, Lisa. Oh. Ah. Oh. Cut. Why you cut, Sandy? This is great. This is real acting. You're gonna ride around with the dress. Maybe do it before you shoot yourself in the head and blow your brain. <laughs> I disagree. You really gonna make this thing? We are going to die. To die. Tommy, this is not necessary. No, very necessary. I need to show my ass to sell this movie. <laughs> I am where I am, just do the scene. Why is he having sex with her belly button? He knows where her belly Oh, that was like right? the best bit of the room. It's like he doesn't know how female. Hi, doggy. Oh, that is the best bit of the room. Oh, God, I am so moist for this movie. I, oh, that is the best trailer. Um, Trump hands. Um, I, yeah, I, I can't wait for this movie. Honestly, please just... Like, everybody, just comment what your experience with The Room is. Even if, you, like, a lot of people don't get it, um, but it is it is just the worst movie in the world, and it's and it's what makes it the best movie in the world. Trump hands. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching the trailer with me. Uh, that is... Oh, I just can't wait for that movie. Um, so, yeah, thanks so much. Comment below and uh, let me know what you think. And... Uh, uh, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm on such a high from that trailer. <laughs> um, thank you so much for checking out the trailer with me. Of course, if you like this video and want to see more videos, please click here, uh, to see more videos and, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.